Kate and I are here on the Navigational Bridge, and we are here with Captain Kate, again, the first American female captain of a cruise ship. Thank you for having Thank us, you. Captain Kate. You. Would you like to give us a tour of the bridge? Absolutely. Let's Great. start in the center, which is the cockpit or the heart of the bridge. Um, everything in here is designed ergonomically to be at our fingertips. And uh, one of the things that people are always interested in is how we actually drive or navigate the Celebrity Equinox. We have three different ways. Uh, the first one, I'll actually show you right here. This is our wheel or our helm. Uh, we use this going in and out of ports because uh, an open ocean if we're on the same course, it's a little boring to stand and do the same thing. So in and out of port using the helm, which is actually smaller than the wheel in your car. We also have autopilot, and autopilot, what it does is um, we put in the heading, and the wind and the currents could take us off. So that's when Manos, which is our officer of the watch right here, Manos from Greece, Manos will make sure that we are still heading where we need to go. Uh, and then the third thing is actually something surprising to a lot of people because we are a completely paperless ship, meaning we don't carry paper charts on board any longer. Everything has been scanned and digitized into the computer. And now we have a system called the Ectus. And what we can do is we say we want to go from point A to point B. I'm sorry, Kate, was that a meow I just heard? That was, that was. I have my cat. I actually brought my cat, Bug Naked, up. Uh, there she is. And uh, Bug Naked always travels with me. And I brought her up to the bridge to say hi here. She's had a bath today. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> meow. There she is. She's not allowed on the equipment, so we just, we just, off she goes. Um, yeah, but the Actus, we can say we want to go from point A to point B. It draws a red dotted line in the computer, and then, of course, we double check to make sure that it's safe and we're not going over any land. If we engage that system to do the driving, it'll keep us on top of that red dotted line, even making the turns for us. So those are the three different ways that we can actually navigate. Wow, yeah, great. yeah. And I have to comment on your name badge. I just noticed that. Yes. The B word, the B word. So the number one question I get asked around the ship is, if you're here, who's driving the boat? And uh, I have to explain it like this. Um, size does matter. Because simply put, you can put a boat on a ship. You can't put a ship on a boat. That's why the Celebrity Equinox is a ship with lifeboats rather than a lifeboat with, with uh, ships on it, um, or a big boat with life ships. And, um, and the, I know I said it in the promo about the boat, but it was really difficult for me to say the B word, unless I think of it like this as an acronym, best of all time. So, um, and I've also heard that a boat, or a ship has a captain, whereas a boat has a disgruntled husband. So, there you go. <laughs> That's wonderful. So, Captain, a lot of our members have asked questions about the condition of the Caribbean since the hurricanes hit last year. Can you give us a bit of an update on that? Absolutely. So, um, I was actually sailing on one of our sister ships in the company Celebrity uh, Summit last year after Hurricanes Maria and Irma. So we were going into St. Thomas and, uh, and St. Martin um, a couple months after, after the hurricanes. And what I can say is that they are up and running. They are as beautiful as ever. Um, the beaches are some of the most beautiful beaches that you will see in the world. There's still so many things to do from zip lining to um, you know, just going out shopping or taking in the nature. And, uh, and one of the important things is, is after something like hurricanes hit, it's so important for people to come back to the islands right. because mm -hmm. um, they really do bring a sense of normalcy. And, uh, and it helps the islands out as well, but they are just as stunning as ever. And you can actually see on my Instagram, um, you know, I post a lot of pictures of going out in port and you can right. see how everything looks. Right. I saw you as a mermaid, I think, in one of the yeah. pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, amazing, yeah. amazing Instagram. Thank you get the you. chance to check Thank it out. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Um, so, Captain, right now, Celebrity has the best promotion of the year going on. I've and heard the, about that. the promotion goes through October 31st. Mm -hmm. And I think we have a short promo video that we're going to play that uh, describes uh, all the different perks and and uh, different amenities that are um, available at the promotion. Scott, yeah. you, you know what's great is you can see on your screen right now, we have two perks available through the end of October, and the guests get to choose between. Definitely the most popular is the beverage package. That's unlimited beer, wine, cocktails, non-alcoholic drinks. You can also choose to have $150 per person spending money on board or prepaid gratuities, or you can have free Wi-Fi on the ship. Now, honestly, I think when you're on vacation, you should turn off the, the Wi-Fi on the phone. But anyway, that's one of the options. Unless you're on Instagram. That's true. Or that's yes. true. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we also have 50% off third and fourth guests, so it's great for families. And suites and guests that cruise on an Alaska cruise tour, which is, the, of course, the cruise and land portion of it, get all four perks. So we're 
really excited about that. Right. But I think we have some questions that have just yep. come in. Is that right? And I just wanted to touch on all Costco members receive a Costco cash card with, right. with every celebrity uh, uh, cruise that they book. Yes, so uh, let's take a few questions that we received from Costco members. Our first question is for you, Captain Kate. What is the most surprising thing that has happened on board? Oof. Um, Last December, December 16th, we were sailing on the Celebrity Summit to Curacao and uh, I was up in the Fun Factory with the kids when I got a call from the bridge and they said that they had received a radio message of May Day of a sailboat that was adrift uh, without food and water for the last week. So I came down to the bridge, we didn't spot them um, by eye and we didn't have them on radar but we could communicate through the radio to try and locate them. So I turned the ship uh, and we proceeded to the last known location that they were in and, uh, and we found the sailboat. We put our rescue boat in the water along with our um, security team and our medical staff and we brought six people on board um, and the, the thing is is it was three men, three women and they had left Haiti on their way to Guadeloupe wow. and shortly after sailing they had lost steerage and then shortly after that they lost their um, they lost their uh, sail and so they were actually adrift in total three weeks and the last week was at, without wow. food and water and when we brought them on board and we checked them of course they were suffering from dehydration and exhaustion but the captain had said that they had met at 10 o'clock in the morning and because the vessel was taking on water uh, and they didn't want to go down with the vessel they had made a pact that if somebody didn't come around by um, 2 p.m. that they were going to jump into the sea oh my and gosh. we came by wow. at 10:45 in the morning and uh, the really special thing was uh, I mentioned it was three men three women but in the end we found out that two of the women were pregnant and didn't oh know it gosh. so it was actually oh eight, eight that lives that we story. saved that day yeah and we, wow. we received a humanitarian award um, the celebrity summit because the crew was absolutely incredible from um, you know hearing the first message to once they were on board we were having um, waiters come up who had just gone to the ATM and took out money to give to these people um, they don't the crew donated clothes and all kinds wow. of things uh, to make sure that they could get home safely from, that is from being at sea yeah wow that is amazing okay our next question is asking for your best piece of advice for first-time cruisers we have something that we put out daily called the Celebrity Today, which is a program of all the events that are listed for that particular day. My best advice is to try as much, po as, as, much as possible because you actually get this the day before or the evening before, so you can take a look at the things that interest you. You can highlight them, you can check them off, uh, and then the following day, just do as much as possible. We have incredible shows. I live in Vegas, and I've seen every Cirque show, and, <laughs> and I know entertainment from being mm -hmm. back home. And the entertainment that we have on board our ships is unbelievable. It, it doesn't, you can't uh, compare it to anything. So our production shows, we have incredible guest entertainers as well. Take those in. Um, all of the fun celebrity life programs, we have archery on board a ship. Oh, wow. We have glass blowing that you can make yeah. your own glass blow okay. piece um, on board. So try as much as possible uh, and just kind of exhaust yourself to the point where you're going to need a vacation from your vacation <laughs> even though you're coming to relax there's so much to do and as a first-time cruiser take advantage of all of it sure that's yeah. Great. yeah that's fantastic okay one final question asks uh, where your favorite place is to cruise I'll let uh, both of you answer so that's one of the first uh, well into a lot of great places but my wife and I had a chance to go to the Galapagos Islands uh, a few years ago and it is by far the most amazing place we've ever been um, it, Celebrity has three ships there. We have a 16 guest uh, small ship, a 48 guest yacht, and a 100 guest mega yacht. And then this next year, we're building a brand new all sweet ship, all made of glass called Celebrity Flora. And that's gonna be an amazing experience in the Galapagos. But the thing about the Galapagos Islands for me is that the animals have never been harmed by a human. Mm -hmm. So you're just like one of them and they mm -hmm. interact with you. My wife and I were in the water and we were actually snorkeling with sea lions and with uh, wow. penguins that were coming mm -hmm. in and out of our legs and playing with us. We saw the blue-footed boobies and waved albatross and all mm -hmm. the birds and activities. It was just remarkable. And you can include Machu Picchu as part of it. Mm -hmm. And it's an all-inclusive vacation. So it's really that's a wonderful. great, great place to be. Oh. Captain? Uh, well, Galapagos is definitely my bucket list. If anybody wants to take me, I'm willing to go. Um, but I would have to say that my all-time favorite itinerary is Alaska. 
because it's one of these places in the world where if it's gray, if it's cloudy, if it's overcast, or even if it's raining, it's authentic. The color of the icebergs pop. It's it's simply gorgeous. Um, and you know, uh, being there in the summertime, obviously you have really late days, and uh, and it's just it's just beautiful. But the Galapagos is definitely the next yeah. one on my bucket list. That sounds wonderful. Yeah. Well, well, thank you so much, everybody, on behalf of Costco Travel and Celebrity Cruises. We'd like to thank you for tuning in today. And thank you, Captain. We My know pleasure. that you are so busy, and uh, today's a sale day, so we really appreci appreciate you letting us into your home. Absolutely. And, yeah, we uh, are looking forward to uh, someday sailing with you. I'd love it. Awesome. Love Wonderful. It. Bye, guys. Thank you Thanks, so everybody. much. Thanks, everybody.